Libra, hi, Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is going to be your November shift reading as we dive in to Scorpio season. All right, so Scorpio season is all about the depths. It's all about the unconscious, the sub levels, okay? What is below the surface, now coming up from the underworld, if you will, okay? All of the metaphors we can use to describe this coming up for us to review, reflect, all right? That's also part of the Mercury retrograde energy, which we are experiencing in Scorpio through most of Scorpio season here, okay? So for your reading today, normally my monthly shift readings look at the shape you're shifting out of, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shift looks like. But for you in Scorpio season, I'm really feeling like I'm going to pull a card for um, what is coming up from the depths for you? What's coming up from the underworld for you to see? And then how is that shifting you? How is that energy creating a shift for you this month? So that's what we're going to look at. We're going to use the Mary L Tarot. Okay. Um, but before I get into this, I want to tell you a little bit about the meditation that came as I was sitting with your energy. I really felt, um, Well, first I saw you diving into the deep end, which is interesting. And I kept hearing someone going, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. In this way that was like actually kind of annoying. Like the voice was like, it's not that deep. But then I saw you dive into the deep end and I'm thinking it is that deep. It is. Okay, so that's Scorpio season. Like it is that deep Libra. It is that deep, okay? So that's something that came. And then also, interestingly, I kept hearing um, that I needed to create space. And at first I thought that just meant like, hold space for Libra. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yes, mm-hmm, yes, I'm holding space. <laughs> yes, I'm creating space for Libra, I'm holding space. And I was like, oh no, 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 that's the message. That's the message for Libra is create space, make room. I saw you um, being asked to scoot over on a bench, which is interesting because that, that image came to me in a dream last night and I was trying to recall it all day and then it came to me after I was sitting with your energy and creating space and making room and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, my dream. Scoot over on the bench, Libra. Scoot over. Make room for somebody else or make room for your, your usually unconscious depths to surface. Create space in your life for something. We're going to find out what. So using the Mary L here, they're all pre-shuffled, but I'll do a couple more for you. And first we're going to focus on what is coming up from the depths for Libra this Scorpio season. What's coming up from, the, from beneath? Interesting. Seven of Discs. So this energy usually talks about waiting for something. It's like you've planted seeds in your garden and now you're waiting for it to grow. Okay, that's the energy. But in this particular version of that card, what I see is all the planets aligning, working together here. Those are the glyphs for the planets in case you don't know, sun, moon, Okay, is that Mercury over there? Yeah, Sun, Moon, and Mercury. You got Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, okay? All of these planets working in tandem, pointing you towards your destiny, giving you the, the fire under your butt to get you where you need to go in this point on the horizon that is your destiny. Interesting that that's what's coming up 
maybe the planets themselves and, and the planetary transits that are happening um, over Mercury retrograde are, are, and over Scorpio season, are bringing stuff up from underneath that actually helps lead you towards your destiny or make space for this this movement towards your destiny but right now it's like you know seven of discs is not necessarily forward moving energy it's it's waiting for the right moment until the time is ripe so this mercury retrograde season could be you know and what i'm talking about when i say that is halloween until about thanksgiving for those of you in the west here October 31st until about, we'll be clear of it, November 27th. As this waiting period evaluation, as you make space for what comes next. Now, let's see how that energy is going to shift you throughout the month. Okay. Beautiful, two more please. One more. Of course, it fell on the floor. Hold on a second. Oh, Y'all know I love when that happens. Mm. So thinking of making space. Eight of Cups. So traditionally in the tarot, the Eight of Cups talks about walking away. It talks about moving on from something emotionally moving on from a particular way of feeling, moving on from a particular state of being, um, perhaps moving on from a relationship or moving on from being single, moving on from something that you have invested a lot of time and energy into. And what I'm seeing here, Libra, I'm seeing it, it did come out in reverse. Um, so I'm seeing a fear, a fear of, of, of where you feel your path is leading you. It's like you feel your path is trying to point you towards this point. And here you are as a child, like, no, 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 no. I like my lion skin. I like my, my protective lion skin. I'm going to stay in my protective lion skin to protect my child self, to protect the child in me that has been wounded in the past, you know? This can talk about um, feelings and emotions that we carry with us from childhood, from perhaps childhood trauma or, or um, fear. But I'm seeing here, this child is much, much stronger than you think. Much stronger than you think. Look at that baby. That's you. Absolutely strong, absolutely wise, wise beyond the years, with the heart of a lion and the courage of one too. All right, tapping into that energy to fuel you moving towards where you are being pointed now, moving on from the past and moving towards something really interesting and really beautiful here. Moving towards your destiny, I'm looking at the star right here on the wrist. Reminds me of the, the Aquarius card in the tarot, which is the star card, which points you towards your destiny, that North Star calling to you. Destiny, right? There's it's like you're you can feel this forward momentum sort of pushing you towards something new, perhaps. And you're like, oh no, but I'm afraid to move on. I'm afraid to walk forward. I'm afraid to go on this journey that I'm being asked to go on. Libra 
you know, okay, I'm afraid to make space for this. I'm afraid to make space for someone else in my life. Look at this. Yeah. Four of Wands and the Lovers. Two cards in the tarot that talk about harmony and structure for joy and freedom and choice in relationship. The Four of Wands in this particular deck is showing this like forest fire, burning away all of the old detritus. Lighting, what I'm seeing is something coming in and lighting up your world because here's, here's the spread how, what I'm, here's what I'm looking at on my table. Okay, see how what's coming up from underneath is fueling this central energy. It's like this, this momentum of the planets is coming forward now, which, which, okay, could be spirit guides. It, it's whatever it is, it's forces beyond you moving you forward. Higher forces now that you can feel if you tap in. If you drop into those depths, it's not that deep. Yes, it is that deep, Libra. Drop into those depths and you can feel it yourself. This, if, the, if this reading is for you, you can feel that push. There's a little fire being lit under your ass here that wants to to light up your world and burn away all of the old fears and all of the things that, that can't come with you on this next part of your journey. And it looks like the next part of your journey is absolutely lighting your world on fire. Wands are passion, soul, Okay, it's like your soul is being lit up potentially by a love situation here, by meeting someone who could potentially be your counterbalance, right? Because we do have this yin and yang energy here. It's like meeting the yang to your yin or the yin to your yang, you know? Okay, or perhaps you are making space for this to come into your life, to have more freedom and, ch and make choices that, that bring in joy and passion and equal reciprocal love that mirrors the capabilities of your own heart into your life. And I say that because this being has heart and a whole lot of it, a whole lot of heart, a whole lot of strength. And now you need somebody just like that to come in and bring some counterbalance to this. Okay, Libra, really interesting. I'm gonna go over to the Octa Spaman deck now. I like this deck. It's very scorpionic, very cheeky, very sarcastic, very saucy. And I'm gonna ask you. Spe I'm gonna ask specifically here. What is your? What is something for you to chew on here, specifically regarding the Mercury retrograde for Libra? You got two cards, Libra. Okay, interesting. This feels like create space. Kill your ego and stop waiting. It will never happen. Again, remember this deck is a little cheeky, a little funny, a little sarcastic, okay? So have a sense of humor looking at this. Kill your ego. So to me, this this um, this person is holding her own head. Focus. Okay, 
holding her own head that she has severed here. And essentially that's like the, the part of your brain that likes to, th to, to stay in fear, that says you need protection, that, that keeps you in fear, that keeps you, that keeps you um, not moving over on the bench. You know, that keeps you sort of like sticking your claim right in the spot and saying, no, 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 like this is mine and I'm not moving. By killing your ego or by killing that part of your brain that is so kicked into survival mode. Listen, the ego is so useful, okay? Without an ego, we wouldn't be able to survive and stand up for ourselves in this world. Very important part of the way our brains work. But sometimes it can be overactive. Sometimes it could be hypervigilant, okay? And what that's what I'm sort of feeling here is a little bit of hypervigilance and a little bit of stubbornness. So allowing that to fade away here. Interesting, stop waiting, it will never happen. What I see here in this image is someone clinging Again, like holding something that has passed, this flower is dead, and yet they're holding it to their heart. And that feels like this energy. You can even see the parallels, the way they're both crossing their heart in protection. You can't stay in protection forever, waiting for this joy and counterpart counterbalance to come into your life waiting for your soul to be lit up it's like you have to to heed the nudges of the the forces unseen that might start to propel you forward here to meet your destiny create space stop waiting it will never happen create space for it to happen if that's what you want. Create the space in your life, in your heart. Open up to that, to a relationship, if that's what this is talking about for you. Very interesting, Libra. Okay, so I'm gonna take this into an extended reading. Um, I'm gonna look at exactly what is this nudge that I'm feeling? What is this nudge from the universe? What does that really look like for you? What is it that you're holding on to? Why do you feel the need to protect yourself here? And then what is this that's trying to come in? What is this that's trying to light up your world and provide some counterbalance and, and perhaps provide a mirror for you here with the lovers and the four of wands? Okay, so um, if you are, if this is resonating with you and you're interested in that extended reading, there'll be a little preview of what that reading gets into at the end of this video. Okay. So you can check that, see if it's resonating with you. If it is, click the link in the description box below. That's going to take you over to my Patreon. All right. Um, for just $11 and 11 cents, you can view that extended reading. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and get in touch with me. All right, Libra, thank you so much for watching and take care of yourself this Scorpio season and I will talk to you soon. This thing that's coming in is the Ace of Cups. Okay, that's what this is, which I knew it. I knew this was something about your heart, a restart for your heart. The Ace of Cups is this beautiful potential new beginning for your heart and often that means in love, romantic love, perhaps. Could be family love, but honestly, I'm just feeling romance. I'm feeling suddenly your passions are ignited with the potential for romantic love here. And it's like the, there's an opportunity here for your world to get lit up, for your soul to reawaken, for your heart to be so nourished again that it overflows with emotion and and this would end a huge cycle for you the world is the biggest ending in the tarot it is the end 